Okay, hi everybody, this is uh, XO. Um, I'm going to make you a song from scratch right now because I know there's a lot of people out there who have no idea how I do this stuff. So what I've done here in Ableton is I've assembled some sounds. So I have like some drums, I have a couple leads, I have a bass sound, and I have something that I'm going to do with compression. <coughs> so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, what I do to start is I make a drum beat. So I open a new clip, I divide this into quarter notes, change to the pen tool, and I'm going to just draw some beats. So these, these if you follow my mouse, these, these two down here are the kicks, and then these two are the snares. So I'll play it for you. So it's a simplistic beat. So I'm going to add some hi-hats on that. I'm going to divide it into 16th notes. But they're kind of loud, so the hi-hats that is. So I'm going to turn them down. So I have like a simple beat. And I'm going to take this clip. And I'm going to drag it over to the arrangement window where you actually assemble the song. So I'm going to drag it out to like two minutes. So I have my beat here. So I have these other sounds here. That's one, and then this one. And then I have my bass. But that's like, there's, it's a couple octaves too high. So I'm going to turn it down. So. I'm just going to add some lead on this. So I'm going to record that. So I'm going to go back to the start, hit record. So that's just like two bars or whatever. Actually, it is four bars. And I'm going to just shorten that up a bit. I'm going to get rid of the second one I did. I'm just going to like narrow it down to two bars. So I'm just like dragging these things over, just making it like two bars long. This grid down here, it's divided into eighth notes right now and I'm uh, I'm actually kind of a perfectionist so I actually go over all these notes and make sure they're perfect volume just like that and I'm gonna consolidate this together and then I'm gonna loop it so I'm gonna loop this riff that I just wrote I'm gonna make it two minutes long so it goes right with the drums. This is really basic stuff, but it gives you an idea. And then I'm going to add another thing in here. So I'm just going to add something like that. Okay, so I'm going to do what I did before. I'm just going to cut this down, cut that down so it's just two bars. And then I'm going to just go over it again and make it nice and perfect. And so they're, they're really quick. They're like, they're 16th notes. The, these little orange boxes at the bottom here, 
they're just 16th notes. So I'm going to consolidate that. I'm going to loop that. That allows me to loop it. Allows me to stretch it out. So it's a pretty simplistic song, but it sounds cool. Now you want to add the bass. So you go down to this track here. Arm it. That's too high, so I'm going to lower the octave. I don't know if you can hear that, but I can't even hear it really. So I'm playing a bass line. Normally I use a little synthesizer, but I'm using my, uh, my computer keyboard right now because I'm lazy. So that's my bass line. Maybe in a future video I'll actually have a camera angle right on my, my synthesizer. So I'm going to record this bass line. So, actually that's not the way, I want it to kind of start like a little bit in. And then shorten this down, make it two bars. You have to kind of follow my mouse because I go quick, so. So I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna move these so they're right on the lines. I'm gonna consolidate this and loop this again so I can stretch it out. That's kind of screwed up. Yeah, that's just a screw up there, so I'm gonna, this note is a little bit too late. Turn the bass down a little bit. Add a crash in there maybe? Nah, it's a little bit too much. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little effect on it. So I'm gonna I'm going to put some compression, some side, ch side chain compression on these two instruments, the lead instruments. So I have this other track here that I'm going to drag over a line of kick drums that sound like this. But you can make it, you can turn off the track and then you go to your lead sound, which is this. Actually, I already have it on, so I'm going to. Turn it off. So I'm going to side chain this to this. So you go to that sound. You go. I already have the compressor all already in here. So I'm just going to turn it on, and then it should sound like this. So every time this kick drum, this invisible kick drum hits, it compresses this, the sound of this synth. So it makes it kind of like a groovy kind of effect. And then for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to go, go into this track, I'm going to turn on this compressor that I already have in. So there, that's with the compression on. And this is with it off. Sorry, this is with it off. And on again. 
You hear the difference? Here's the whole song. I can actually put it on the bass line too. I wonder how that'll sound actually. So that's the bass line with the compression on it. So that's just like the tip of the iceberg. There's like a million other things you can do with this, but that's a basic idea of how I start a song and how I create my synthwave music. Um, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna open, give me one second here. My computer is uh, slow. I'm gonna open a song that I've already done that you're probably familiar with called Stargazer. And I'll show you a finished product. So, come on, all right. So here's Stargazer. This is it, this is pretty much it. I color code everything so if I have a verse, I'll do one color, like I'll, I'll do the whole strip here, one color, and then the chorus kicks in, I'll make this whole thing, this whole chunk, another color. And then if I do a breakdown, I usually color the breakdowns yellow for some reason, I don't know why. So this is, this is it. So here's your drums. That's the, that's the basic drum pattern. I add in rolls like this too, like. Um, and then um, I have my crash sounds in a separate track. Yeah, it's, not, it's out of tune because I, uh, I did a pitch bend on my synthesizer and it throws it out of tune when I play it back sometimes. So the guitar's out of tune. Oh well. There's your guitar. The bass is like a, it's called master bass. Kind of sound, kind of sounds weird. Master bass. And then I have all kinds of other sounds here layered. Um, it's all, all basically just like uh, arpeggios and just basic stuff, like repeating, looping over and over again. So yeah, I realized like I did I didn't play I didn't play a real guitar. This is all like uh, this guitar is all digital. Um, but that gives you an idea of how I made it. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll make another video soon because this is like pretty fun. I've never done anything like this before. So all right, see you later.